I know right now I'm kind of doing a reaction like you'd see it all I'll see on a TikTok or a YouTube shorts when it's just sitting here while it's going just dead face. I mean that's how my arm look after I beat my shit for the second time. <laughs> Huh? How? How? I thought his source wasn't goddamn sharp. Welcome back to another video. Uh, sorry that, you know, I've been on break kind of, just been focusing on work. Decided to come back. Hopefully, this video looks way better than my other ones. I was kind of having a pro I had a video out, but long story short, it was ass. After audio wasn't, uh, was cut out. And I was like, once I, when I uploaded, my mom told me, it's like, yeah, some of the audio was cut out of it. So I decided, you know what? I'm just going to uh, take a break and try something different. Hopefully this works. But anyway, today we're doing a reaction to Deku versus Asta. Uh, death battle, which I'm come out and say who I think is going to win. Uh... I think Deku gonna be Asta. My reason, my reason for that is because Deku don't have magic. He just he had powers and they pretty much like physical. I think I think uh, Asta could stop is his like black whip. When it comes to strength, I think they pretty much equal. What's up? Deku probably has more. No, they're gonna explain it, but I'm thinking Deku. Let's get into it. Being a super student straight out of UA High. Asta, the anti magical ass kicker from Black Clover. Though you may be born to rest in the same gifts as your people, nothing is stopping you from achieving your dreams. As long as you're a fictional character in a fantasy world. <laughs> I mean, as long as you've got your friends by your side, you'll pack a hell of a punch. He's whizzing. Five, five. I ain't gonna even lie, I don't know what that food is. He saw exactly that in young Midoriya and gave Yeah, we all know this. Quirks in the world, one for all. Let me get rid of that. that. the problem. Even after bulking up from lad to chad, the recoil from even one punch would shatter all the bones in his arm. So he trained to be able to handle his gift at the superhero school of his dreams, UA High. And that's when he decided to own the name used as a cudgel against him for so many years. Turns out, Deku can also be an abbreviation for Dekiru, someone who can do anything. Exactly the opposite of Deku Nobu. One for all allows Deku to release absolutely up. Alrighty. Bajin, Dangerous Sense of Black Whip, Smokes, Smoke Screen, Float. Yeah, I just saw Float in the recent episode of, him, uh, of the anime. Gear Shift. I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for, waiting for we get to that area of the uh, anime. Absurd amounts of strength from different parts of his body with super moves named after U.S. cities and states. Deku still can't access all of his power safely, though. Using 100% will quickly destroy his body, which... 
Yeah. Oh, I just thought of something that'd be funny. One of his uh, taxes, United States of Chicago or something. Some, uh, his Chicago power or something had to do with guns. Which is why he learned to distribute his strength evenly. That'd be interesting. A technique known as full cowling. This lets him increase his speed and durability as well, making him more all-rounded and shifting focus to his own interpretation of One for All inspired by his pal Ida, Shoot Style, where he pulls out a Glock and blows your brains out. No, that's Chicago style. <laughs> but in keeping with One for All's rabbit theme, he trades All Might's signature punches for kicks. Uh, my version's better. You ever, you ever seen rabbit versus gun? I have, and I know how it plays out. Considering the much higher muscle mass of a human's legs, shoot style allowed Deku to output even more power while giving his arms a break. Uh, a break from a break. And despite being a classic melee build, Deku can fight at range by punching powerful gusts of air and even precisely aim them with specially designed gloves. Deku has an encyclopedic knowledge of quirks and is always analyzing their strengths and weaknesses mid-battle, even if he does sound a I'm gonna I'm skip ahead because I kind of know this shit already. Gear shift. Yep, I heard recently about that from uh, Ball, Anime Balls Deep. Now let's get see Asta shit. You know it, you love it, and in the world of Black Clover, it doesn't come from a box you bought at a tacky West Hollywood costume shop. Everyone's got it. Mana is the source of all magic, a supernatural energy found in the air and in living beings. Except living beings whose names are Asta. Not only was the young Asta an orphan abandoned by his mother at a church. I have abandoned, one. He was born with a mutation that prevents him from having any mana to speak of. Well, neither do I, and you don't hear me crying about it. <laughs> his catchphrase is, ah. Yeah, that shit annoying, though. All of the time. But Asta had a dream. Despite his lack of magic, he and his best friend Yuno promised each other one of them would rise to the throne of the greatest military position in the land, the Wizard King. I know right now I'm kind of doing a reaction like you'd see it all, I'll see on a TikTok or a YouTube shorts where he's just sitting here while he's going just dead face. I mean, this is it's kind of nothing really to talk about at the moment. Wizard King? Really, guys? Sometimes they call it Magic Emperor, but we all know what they mean. So, he dedicated himself to getting swole as all hell in a world yeah. of nerds. He would be its lone jock god, shoving every last wizard into a locker until they crowned him king. But huge frightening vectorals on a tiny screaming goblin child weren't enough on its own. He needed something powerful him a enough goblin to child. down his opponent's magic. He needed the Five Leaf Clover Grimoire. Essentially a book of spells, a grimoire will choose its user and float beside their wielder at all times. And Asta was lucky enough to receive the Una Reverse card of grimoires. The Five Leaf Clover can harness the power of anti-magic, which will literally nullify the effects of other magic spells, almost like wizard kryptonite. Let the locker stuffing commence. Haha, <laughs> get nerds it wasn't long before asta was accepted into one of the nine squads of clover kingdom's magic knights the black bulls filled with lazy drunkards antisocial otakus and literal sociopaths my kind of people if mostly but much like with asta you shouldn't judge a grimoire by its cover and soon they were all working together and kicking ass like a family should asta harnesses the power of anti-magic by summoning swords imbued with it from the grimoire Normally, these swords would quickly drain the mana from anyone foolish enough to wield them, but Asta does not have any mana, turning his greatest weakness into a one-of-a-kind strength. He's got his classic Demon Slayer, an enormous greatsword which cuts through spells with its edge and deflects them with its flat. Or the Demon Dweller, which can also absorb mm. and copy magic, then toss it right back to sender. I think my personal favorite is the more complex Demon Destroyer, which severs the relationship between a spell's cause and effect, countering the effects of its magic. This could result in anything from healing a village that was inflicted with poison to preventing reincarnation. Yeah. I'm gonna have to rewatch uh Black Hover. Okay, some of these can get a little heady. I personally prefer keeping it simple, like using anti-magic telekinesis to surf on your sword through the sky. It's worth noting that these swords are made specifically for countering magical attacks and sources of mana. The swords will act as though blunted when striking non-magical foes, more akin to giant clubs than actual blades. Not entirely inconsistent with real-life greatswords. But none of that's even close to as cool as his deadliest sword, the Demon Slasher, a katana Ooh. as black as the pits of 
of hell and twice as badass. This one actually does cut like a sword, but it's complicated. It lets Asta actually select what he does and does not want to cut, only affecting his target while leaving anything else unharmed. Okay, at this point, isn't that just magic? Uh, magic with a loophole. And he's studied the blade long enough to become a master swordsman to boot. Not in the real life sense, in the anime sense. He can spin himself like a tornado to deflect magic spells, thrust forward at top speed like a charging bull, launch a barrage of anti-magic projectiles, and even channel anti-magic into his swords to vastly increase their size. Well, while he may be no good with mana, he has learned to detect ki, because of course, the life force existing in all things. Asta can detect hidden opponents and even predict their movements ahead of time. It's funny, all this stuff they're talking about, I learned uh, from anime's balls deep. I be looking at it, found out all this information they're talking about already, even though I don't read the manga as much. As I, I used to read manga a lot, I don't do that no more. Uh, maybe I should get back to it. I guess we get into the fight now. Dot com slash death battle. All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. Come on, Deku. Let's go, Deku. Okay, I like the setting. He's got to be crazy strong. I'm going to have to rely on more than just my power to take him down. Come on, Deku. His speed isn't slow by his sword's weight at all. Gotta hamper his movements and get that book out of his hands. Huh? He found me. Fuck. Come on, Deku. Now it's my turn. The fuck is that supposed to be Black Whip? Come on, Deku. Come on. Yeah, smash him. Man. I got this still on. I don't know what Detroit is. Hit me with all you've got because I'm never going down. He better use gear shift. But he don't got that chick on his back. He do that shit, nigga. You dead too. <laughs> That's how my arm look after I beat my shit like, for the second time. <laughs> Yeah. 
Huh? How? How? I thought his swords wasn't goddamn sharp. were fairly evenly matched melee fighters without any specific abilities to give one an easy edge over the other. Though, to be fair, the variety of quirks Deku inherited from past users of One for All did make him more versatile and unpredictable. Plus, quirks are biological mutations not connected to some supernatural energy source like mana, so Asta's anti-magic powers were basically useless here. Exactly. Generally a smarter and more tactical fighter, but against Asta's incredible might, this time, Brawn beat Brains. Let's crunch some numbers! Deku's greatest feat of strength was splitting that enormous cloud formation with Bakugo. By measuring the size of the island and comparing it to the clouds above, we can determine they dispersed over 63 trillion kilograms of water. That's the weight of the Great Pyramid of Giza! 12,000 of them! And required an energy of nearly 80 teratons of TNT per punch. Let's compare that to Asta. But Toli's spell was going to be strong enough to vaporize a country the size of the Clover Kingdom. We can use this map from the manga to estimate the size of Clover Kingdom to be about 500 kilometers in diameter, about half the length of Great Britain. Vaporizing a country of that size would require an energy of over 480 teratons of TNT, over six times greater than Deku's punch. While Asta uses anti-magic, it isn't an automatic counter. It needs to be comparable in strength to the spell it's combating. And Asta's gotten way stronger since. Asta was also quicker. Sure, scaling to Shigeru. Uh, it still don't make no sense. Because it's not fucking magic. He shouldn't be able to cancel that shit out. Just still be able to blast him. But whatever. Whatever. They always doing that shit to me. Right. Hope you like the video and I'll see you guys later.